Hello everyone, my name is Spiracle and welcome to Hollow Knight. For some reason I have never played it before and I don't know why because it seems right up my alley. So I think it's about time we fix that. Let's jump straight into it. Uh oh, I have to read. In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught we changed. Base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollowness by Monomon, the teacher. How was that? Bad? Yeah, I thought so. Doesn't matter. Oh, cutscene. Now there's certainly a lot of chains and stuff about, but I'm not about to kink shame anyone. Okay, I'm sorry. I am sorry for that one. I'm gonna shut up and stop ruining this. Well, that was pretty spooky. I'm spooked. Okay, well, stating the obvious to start off, this game is absolutely stunning. Like, this has blown me away already. The music is absolutely spot on. Music is something that can really make or break a game. And I've got to say, so far it's been incredible. Add that on top of the art style, which I absolutely love. I mean, I know this is a cutscene, but this is adorable. I mean, look at my stubby little legs. I'm adorable. I haven't been adorable since I was like seven and I've missed it. Okay, and right away we are falling and falling and now we've broken every single bone that we had. Well, that's the end. That was a fun game. Join us as we give it another try. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Let's get a general feel for the controls. So it's just simple X to attack, A to jump. And it seems that the longer you hold A, the higher you jump. Also looks like a lot of the things in the foreground are destructible, which is quite interesting. I don't know yet if they drop anything or if it's just for aesthetic purposes. Uh, there's a cute little guy who is now dead. Smash our way through more doors then. Normally cute enemies is a bit of a turn off for me. I mean, there's too much going for this game to turn me off of it, but I guess I'm a bit of a simpleton in the fact that if something's got cute eyes and a cute smile, I don't want to hurt it ever. What's this thing? So I'm going to presume that is like the currency for this game. I don't know what we'll need to buy yet or well, I suppose we'll just figure that out later, won't we? Don't know if it's like for upgrades or what really. We'll see. So far, standard platforming uh, until they tried to drop a spike on my face. Don't appreciate that. Oh God, more reading. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Okay, I guess I can't read that then. Well, it certainly looks like an interesting mechanic though. So kill more enemies to get soul, which you can then heal yourself with. And I don't know if we'll be able to do anything else with it later or something. I just fell into the spikes. That was some pro platforming right there to start everything off. Get out my face. And all that currency just fell into the spikes, so I guess screw that. Yeah, it was a secret up here. They tried to drop another spike on me and I don't appreciate that. I knew it. As soon as I saw that door, I was like, this is a secret place. This is not where I'm meant to go. Well, while we're here, we might as well see this healing in action. Kind of just squat down, squeeze a bit, and then everything gets better. There's a lot of blue going on here. What's this? I guess I'll just destroy it all. Why not? Okay. What are those things? Oh, that looks like a little temporary extra heart or something, I guess. It looks squelchy. I guess is the word. Let's continue destroying everything we find. I didn't mean that much. Okay, well, I guess we're down here now then. Oh, well, we can't get back up to that area then, even though I see a secret up there. Uh, there's a lot of spikes. Just gotta keep moving. I see something else down here. Right, another secret. I think you can jump on these spikes. I was right. It still messed it up, but I was right. I messed up again, but I, I'm still right. I didn't even try that time. So that made it that time and screwed it up on the second bit. So I'm screwing it over and over. I am embarrassing myself now. We should heal. All right, jump, smack. Okay, so we only had to do it in one. No, I made that way harder than I had to. Uh, What is this thing? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. 
Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. Well, now I just feel special. Well, we found a chest already. This seems like a good start. Already found a secret. How do I pick this? Okay, so up. Collected a charm. Fury of the Fallen. We can't equip it yet, though. We need to find a bench wherever our bench is. And we unlocked an achievement. I was going to turn notifications off while recording this, but then I thought, achievements make me feel special. I'm keeping them on. Although the weekly quest thing is starting to get annoying. Oh, we're back up this bit now, so we might be able to get to that secret that we missed. Because the whole floor collapsed underneath our tremendous tiny weight. Let's see. Bounce our way all the way back. Some expert platforming. And if we... Yeah, there we go. There's a secret. So I don't know where we're going to spend this currency. And again, don't know what on. But that's for us to find out, isn't it? We're only very early into the game. Guess that's our way back up. Smack that up. Nothing back there, so... Ooh, more lore. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom. Hello, Nest. Okay, cool, but I'm gonna smash your door. Well, looks like this civilization went well, didn't it? Guess I'll jump down. And I broke all of my bones again. Except to just have an exoskeleton, I imagine. So, I guess scratch that. Yeah, this game is absolutely adorable. I love this so much. Dirt Mouth. A fading town. Well, this fellow looks rather friendly. And old. Your name is Elderbug. In which case, you get an elder voice. I don't know how to do an elder voice. Ho oh, there, traveller. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's full and quiet, you see. The other residents have all disappeared. I pushed them into the well! Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt a ruin. It still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out! It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Well, you're a pleasant fellow, aren't you? I used to be able to do different voices so good. And then I didn't speak for like five years straight. Right then, let's see. Fury of the Fallen embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bearer's strength will increase. That sounds pretty good to me. Well, not like we've got anything else to equip. For all your mapping supplies, we'll be opening soon. Okay, so not yet then. There's nothing for us here. It's over here. I know you want me to go down that well, but I refuse. I am stabbing your grass and destroying your lampposts. A stone door with a simple lock. Where's the lockpicking lawyer when you need him? Well, I guess we'll go down the well then. Once more. Ow. My knees. Forgotten crossroads. Right, well... This guy's white. I'm already taking damage. Good start. Good start. I win. I really don't know how I went so long without playing this. Came out in 2017, I believe. I'm already falling down and I am already lost. That's a good start. Stab all these flies, though. Ouch. What's in here? Yeah, I'm, I'm already thoroughly lost. It's not a good start. Well, this looks more green. The Pilgrim's Way. Okay, I skipped it all again. Um, don't like you. Okay. I guess that's a no to fighting you at the moment then. Out we go. Suppose we'll just go deeper. What could go wrong? Well, this, this sounds like there's someone friendly here. You look friendly. Hmm? Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Um, what? I've just met you. That's thrown me out. What voice was I doing? Ah, generic voice number three. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work? Yeah, sure. The map sounds useful. I'm already lost. 
A map can be a useful thing, but it alone would show you where you are. If you have not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. Zelda, I think that's her name. She's just now opening a new map shop in Dirtmouth. I skipped again. I popped back to see I skipped once more. This is adorable. Oh my god, I love that so much. Well, a map should help then. Just go down here. I've now got an actual rough idea of where I am, so I don't like the death worms. Why are you? That's it, why are you? Okay, yep, just fall straight into that. Don't mind me, just I should heal again. Right, maybe don't fall into the acid immediately. What the hell are you? Can you please stop splooging babies on me? That's something that I should never have to even specify. Ow, your babies. He looks sad. No, I love him. I love him so much. I would die for you. Not that quickly, though. Um, Especially considering I just freed you. Oops. Anyway, that is that that sealed it for me i need to save every single one of those tiny little guys oh my god i want one where can i buy one i wonder if i can jump on them like the ouch not like that ouch again i wonder if i can jump on them like the spikes because that's the only way i can see myself getting up there unless there's a double jump or something no i was right right onward and upward and well not upward just sideways onward anyway this game I know I've said it before, but this is stunning. I can see why this has such a dedicated fan base. There's a lot of secrets up here. I'm going to smash them up one at a time just in case they disappear. But yeah, I can definitely see why this has a cult following. I am already in love with this game. However, just like everything in life, I'm going to overthink things. And I'm going to say uh, those... I didn't want that to fall down on me. Ow. I don't like you. What are you guys even attacking me with? Should heal up. Ow, oh, that's what you're shooting me with. Um, I should find cover somewhere then. I forgot what I was saying. This is always the issue with me. Ow, oh, Jesus. Um, this is concerning. I need to kill you for some soul very fast. There we go. Okay, good. That was all of them. So that is one spooky close to death animation. I uh, don't know how to jump up onto that bit. What's down here? Another three. Okay, it being really generous. So as I was about to say before I got distracted as per usual, I'm going to play this all the way through, but I'll only record it if some of you are enjoying this and my failed attempts at doing different voices. So if you'd like to see more, be sure to let me know that you actually enjoy this by either liking the video or leaving a comment, or both if you're awesome, because I've done this in a bit of a different style to what I usually do, and it'll be one less thing for me to overthink, so that's always good, right? Hey, it's me from the future. I'm overriding the commentary at this point because I wanted the opportunity to thank everyone who's recently come to this channel. 25 more of you decided you liked what you saw yesterday. And it jumped so quick that I couldn't even say nice when we hit 69. Just jumped straight from 64 to 77. I'm not exactly sure why I'm still talking, but I just wanted to say thank you. As I said, when we hit 50, that was my goal for the end of the year. And now we're pushing towards 100. And well, all I can say is thank you, really. And I'm going back to my past self to finish this now. Oh my god, this place is stunning. And there's a bench here as well, so I think this is where I will call it. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see future content like this. And I hope to see you next time. Cheers.